So, should I break the tension, or you? Why do you think there's tension in the room? There's not. I was just... I'm kidding. It was... a bad joke. <laughs> when you think there's tension in the room, is it always your first instinct to make a joke? Well, that's a loaded question. Can you blame a guy for trying to make things lighter? I mean, we were just sitting in silence for a couple of minutes. You mean the moment right after you hit on me. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on, I, I didn't really- After I inquired how you were doing this week, you asked me, and I quote, Whoa, getting right into the soul-bearing questions, huh? At least let me open up a bottle of wine, end quote. That was taken completely out of context. <laughs> I believe you. So, Jason, I'll ask again. How are you doing this week? Well, Doc, I'm... You can just call me Carolina. Oh. Okay. Well, Carolina, I'm glad you asked. I'm doing excellent. I got a new office, working together again with my two best pals, saving lives and kicking butt. Feels good, you know? That does sound good. When we hit new milestones in life, whether personal or professional, we should embrace the positive feelings that come with it. You are free to feel proud of yourself. Yeah, exactly. You get it. Is... is that it? Is there anything else you'd like to talk about? Shouldn't you be the judge of that? Your time in these sessions of ours is your time. What we discuss during them is completely up to you. Oh, well, if that's the case, then I guess I'll head out. Hold on. What I said still stands. However, you are still ordered to spend an hour of your week with me in these mandated sessions. Director's orders. But there's still 51 minutes left! I'm aware. So, Jason, is there anything else you'd like to talk about? <sighs> you ever watch The Empire Strikes Back? So, how's therapy going? Oh, you know, great. We're almost ready to announce that we're official. What are you talking about? Going to make her my girlfriend. I think you need more therapy now. You know, that janitor's outfit really works for you, Elijah. Shut up. No, I'm serious. You should think about changing your wardrobe. Ditch the mafioso coats. Didn't work for Frank Costello, and it doesn't work for you. Will your new girlfriend like that you're hitting on someone else? And I'm not about to take fashion tips from a homeless immortal. I'm not homeless. I'm a drifter. Huge difference. Yeah, keep telling yourself that, buddy. But wrapping back around, were you involved in the Mafia at some point? You seriously think this guy was in the Mafia? It's a valid question. Just because I was there didn't mean I was a card-carrying member. Okay, yeah, but were you? For a bit. <gasps> Did you know Al Capone? Nope. Okay, Pablo Escobar. No. Uh, what about Whitey Bulger? You know, just because I'm immortal doesn't mean I met every historical figure. Well, obviously, but it sounds like you didn't meet any. Oh my god, either answer her fucking questions or stop asking them. Ugh, we're gonna be here all night if I have to do this by myself. Oh, fuck that. I don't know about you losers, but I have plans tonight. Ooh, what plans? None of your business. Oh, what is this, 20 questions? You just asked me, like, 40. Aren't we supposed to be finding immortals? We've got eight hours before the morning shift is due in. Let's get moving. Should be enough time to get through the main exhibits, especially with this. Then should we split up? Might be able to cover more ground. Aw, oh, don't want to hide behind Elijah anymore. It's called acting. Yeah, right. I'm serious. Give me any of those swords on display and you'll see a master at work. I wouldn't trust you with a butter knife, let alone a sword. Aw, <laughs> don't be like that. I was actually very skilled with a sword. Wonder if I still got it? Leave it alone, Jason. Why? These are all stolen from their rightful places anyway. No one's going to miss one. I'm serious. Shit. That's probably security. We've wasted enough time here. Let's get moving.
Hold on. There's something off about this gallery. The land of Silva. Almost like a low hum of occultic energy? Uh, not seeing any facial similarities to any other paintings I've seen. I don't think it's a painting. It's something else. <laughs> what did I say about holding back? I believe you said something along the lines of, Please, hold back, Jason, or else I'll have my arse handed to me. Ooh, I'll have to cut out your tongue for that slide. Well, I'll have to do better than this. <laughs> Bloody hell, I knew it. Oh, come off it. Perhaps you'll fare better next time. Nah, I demand a rematch. This instant. No time for it. You've forgotten, haven't you? Oh, of course not. Really? Yes. Then what must we do tonight? It, um, it, 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 it's, on, it, it's on the tip of my tongue. The Queen? The Queen! We're meeting with her. Not smelling like a pig, you aren't. My charm will make up for it. Your charm doesn't work on Her Majesty. Luckily for me, she's not who it's meant for. I do not envy that poor soul. <laughs> 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 Jason, you okay? I'm fine. But I don't think we'll find anything in there. Oh, shit. He's getting closer. Let's just lay low in here until he's gone. Throw up an invisibility spell or something. Why? The door's right here! Well, what if the guard checks inside anyway? Then that's when I'll cast an invisibility spell. Why don't you want to go in there? Because Silva is such a snooze fest. Nothing worth looking at. Just get the fuck inside before I make you. Fine. Illuminate Vion. He's gone. Look for anything that could be a clue to an immortal living in this kingdom. Something that stands out. A bathtub, then? Be serious. I am. Still don't think we should be in here. What is it with you in this place? <whistles> they really went and dug up the whole kingdom. You've been here before? I was aware of it. That's all. What was it like back then? It was fine. Yeah. You wouldn't want to open up or anything. I just don't like celebrating the work of grave robbers. You mean archaeologists? Same thing. Wait, what is this? Court Wizard Galen, a pinnacle of knowledge who studied ancient and arcane secrets. One of the greatest minds of his time. Oh, maybe he's our immortal. <sighs> I doubt it. Doesn't exactly seem like a great sinner to me. You'd be surprised who was a sinner back then. Oh my god! You find anything? Check this out! A set of stairs leading to... A tomb that they found fully intact. At least that's what this plaque says. Well, that sounds promising. Let's check it out. No! What the hell are you doing? Let go of me! You're not going to disturb their peace any more than it already has been. Are you serious? Did you forget about Belial? There could be a clue down there. In a tomb? Why would an immortal be in a tomb? That doesn't make sense. Please, Elijah. They've been through enough. They should have been left where they were. <sighs> he has a point. Doesn't make sense for an immortal to be down there, or anything related to an immortal. Probably just a bunch of dusty old corpses. Fine. Let's move on to the next exhibit then. Thank you. Rest easy. So, what's next? The archive should be further down here. Gonna be okay this time, Jason? Not gonna lose it again? I'll be fine. Thanks. Alright. 
So, I have a hypothesis. Let me guess. About me? Yeah. I hypothesize that you know more about the kingdom than you were letting on. Gee, what gave you that impression? Oh, come on. Do I look dumb to you? Do you think this obsession with knowing everything about me comes from the fact that you never guessed what I was in the first place? Aha! Nice try! But deflecting isn't gonna work. Uh, what happened in Silva? I just don't like museums. I thought we agreed we'd stop keeping secrets. Oh, like you've shared everything about yourself? I, uh... Who's there? Shit! Finish this later, you two. Let me handle this. What? Who are you three? What are you doing here? Ah! Uh, hello, sir. Sorry if we were being a little loud. We're the new janitors. It's our first night. Mm. Let me see your IDs. Of course. Here you go. Mm. You say you've just started. Yes, sir. Interesting. What is? Your, uh, your cards. They're dark blue, but you just started. You gotta have special clearance for these color cards. Shit. I'm afraid you'll have to come with me. I was so hoping we could solve this without violence. What? Uh, <laughs> faulty wiring? Uh, is it me or does it look like it's getting darker down there? That's bad. Run. Oh, y'all stay right. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think that was? Whatever it was, this mission just got way more interesting! Hurry! This way! What do we think? Level spirit, goblin, uh... Oh, uh, maybe the exhibits are coming to life, like in that movie! You're way too giddy about this! This is why I wanted the sword. Uh, you're really gonna bring that up again? Now? Well, what's the plan? We go back to the silver gallery. I knew something was wrong there. <laughs> So, a uh, couple questions. One, what was that thing? Two, which one of my inventions can I use to kill it? A revenant. You can tell by its screech. But it doesn't make sense for one to be here. In our line of work, how can it not? The timing is weird. Revenants only reanimate when their resting place is disturbed, or when the target they were made to kill is in their presence. Well, that narrows the list of suspects down by nothing. We've pissed off a lot of people. Anyone that wants me dead would be a lot more creative than this. This is the only exhibit that has an alarm going off. You're right. You said we needed more info, so... Oh, I can't hear myself think. Oh, there. Let's investigate. All right. This time we are checking all of the caskets. And I don't want to hear any complaining from you, Jason. Fine. Glad you understand. Seems like our friend wasn't a fan of good old Galen. Good. It's less than what he deserves. Okay. Well... I'm thinking Galen was the one that made our little Revenant problem. And I'm guessing something is causing it to react right now. Uh, fellas, might want to take a look down here. This casket's open. So unless they do reenactments of the mummy here, I think we found our Revenant. Crispin the Chivalrous. Anyone heard of him? Uh, Jason, you okay? It can't be. You know who they are, don't you? Can't be Crispin. His casket's open, no body inside. Doesn't take a genius to put two and two together. Then they mixed up the caskets. Or maybe it was never his body in there to begin with. Stop trying to find excuses. It's obvious you have some connection to this Galen guy. And for some reason, he wants you dead. The question is, why? I... Jason, I swear to God, I don't care if you'll come back. I can still stick you in a coffin. Fine. Silva was my home. For a time. I was a knight there. Who was Crispin? My partner. We met on a mission to rout some bandits. I was stubborn and rushed in. He saved me. 
From then on, we were inseparable. An unstoppable team. Chasin the Undying and Crispin the Chivalrous. Undying? Really? You, uh, you don't think that's too on the nose? Earned it from my feet of returning from every battle alive, no matter the casualties. It's actually how I decided on the name Phoenix. Even had my knightly crest adorned with one. Cute. I don't see what that has to do with- I'm getting there. This is not your brightest idea, and you've had many poor ideas. Poor ideas are how all my best stories begin. I'm serious. You always are. Someone has to be. I love that your heart is in the right place, but... But you'd rather I sit by and do nothing? I don't want you going off on some fool's errand. If there was a cure for my affliction, I would have found it by now. And even if, by some miracle, there is a cure, it would not be sitting in some wizard's study. Perhaps not a single wizard, but imagine the full might of a court of wizards. And what if they don't react to my immortality the same way you did? What if they decide they want my immortality for themselves? You are a knight of this kingdom. The, their loyalties lie to the queen and all who serve her. Why would they not help cure your affliction? I'm familiar with these types. When it comes to power, their self-interest prevails. They will throw loyalty out the window. My love, don't make me grow old without you. I refuse to be grey and wrinkled alone. My love, even if I were to grow old, I'd still look as handsome as I always do. Don't go to him. I don't trust him. <sighs> if, if that is how you feel... It is. Promise? I promise. Wait, you're gay? Please, bisexual. Uh, okay, okay, just reconsidering a few things here. Uh, wait, uh, he knew you were immortal. Yeah, I came back in front of him. It was a bit hard to keep it a secret after that. Yeah, yeah, and we're so proud of you. Look, what's gonna happen next is something you're not gonna like. What do you mean? You're gonna have to be bait. It only wants you. When it's distracted, Ali and I can just destroy it. If we do this, will he finally be able to rest? The spell work to make revenants is especially cruel. The soul would be destroyed with it. No. No way! <sighs> this kind of magic corrupts the soul. Whatever you think is in there is no longer anything remotely human. Just a rotting corpse now. He's more than that. If this was someone you loved, would you let this happen? I wouldn't let it happen in the first place. You're dodging the question. Would you let someone hurt the person you love? There is another way. Puts us more at risk. But you're still going to have to be bait. Thank you. Who are we to stand in the way of true love? You know Crispin the best. Is there anything here that he was particularly attached to? Something that means a lot to him? That's easy. Crispin was a protector. He loved his shield. What do we have to do? Right now, his soul is trapped in his body. We're going to use this shield as part of a ritual to sever the connection and free him. Where's the risky part? Well, it's going to try and kill all of us the second it knows what we're up to. Wouldn't be our kind of plan without the threat of dying. Well, at least for you guys. Gotta keep work fun somehow. So, I'm feeling great playing bait and all, but what exactly are you doing, Elijah? Like I said, we need to sever the connection. Only way to do that is to pull the soul out of his body. And how are you going to do that? I'm literally going to pull his soul out from his body. And you are going to use his shield and cut it free. And let me guess, the risky part is that this thing... Crispin. His name is Crispin. <sighs> Whatever. The risky part is getting close enough to do all of this. As long as Jason's okay with taking the hits, there's no risk to me. 
Thanks for the concern. I'm ready. On three. One. Two. Three! do you need? As much as you can give me. Good to see you, my love. I wish you were under better circumstances. you want, right? Well, come and get me. Come on. Use your casket, right? What have you done with him? Hold your tongue, you devil spawn. You forget yourself. I care not for formalities. Where have you taken him? Sir Jason, need I remind you you were in the presence of your queen. You would do well to remember that. My apologies, my queen. But I am perfectly aware of the company I am in. Now, Galen, where is he? The traitor has been dealt with accordingly. Don't you dare speak ill of him. Is it not the truth? My queen, as I was saying, the so-called knight of the court broke into my chambers and attempted to steal from me. Lies! My queen! No doubt he was planning to use the royal artifacts in order to usurp your throne. He would never! He lies, your majesty. Crispin has always been loyal to you and this kingdom. Your majesty, I have served you and your family for decades. My family has for generations. Believe me when I say that these two conspire against you. Enough, Galen. Sir Jason, can you explain then why Sir Crispin was caught attempting to pilfer through Galen's chambers? I... I cannot, my queen. Well, you leave me no choice. Knights, subdue him. No! Wait! Please, just... Exile us. We'll leave. Unfortunately for you, Sir Crispin has already been... executed. What did you just say? He really did try to help you. But I know what you are, and I'll be damned if a monster like you is saved. <laughs> so this is what happened to you. I'm sorry I wasn't there. What is this? His sword? Crispin. I won't fail you this time. I 
I missed you. You know you don't have to do this, right? I know the man I love is in there. Looks like a thousand years was enough for you to finally get better than me. Please, Crispin, I... I'm tired. Watching people die while I live on. I can help you. Jason? Oh, my fucking head. Eli, can you do this well again? I can keep him distracted. No! Don't! Jason! Kill him! I... I can't! You have to! I... I'm sorry. Crispin... I... I should have been there. Jason, thank you. I love you. Hey, you got a minute? Sure. What's up? I, uh... I just wanted to say, you did good. I know it couldn't have been easy. It wasn't. I... I don't know if I could have done the same. I hope you never have to find out. Yeah, well... If you, uh, ever want to get a drink and... Uh, I don't know... Tell me about Crispin? I'm available. Aww... Are you asking me out on a date? I don't think I'm emotionally available for that right now. All right, asshole, don't flatter yourself. <laughs> and this is the land of silver, a once prosperous kingdom. It had some of the greatest knights in history occupy its court. For example, Sir Crispin the Chivalrous was... Hey. Figured I owed you a talk. A real one. You made a mess of the museum. King was not happy about it. But Elijah smoothed things over. He does have his talents. I hope you're resting now. How could I let you cut me this badly? Even alive, you were never a match for me. Guess it shows I need practice. And I intend to practice. I finally found a good reason to fight again. Well, anyway, I've talked too long. Much more, and they'll kick me out for talking to myself. I love you. And miss you. I promise to make you proud. This has been the Technomancy Project, Season 2, Episode 3, Damnum Amoris. We'd like to thank the following crowdfunding campaign supporters, without whom this episode would not be possible. Becca Consaga, John and Judy Suprana, Lucy Mason, Colm and Kara, Carolina Freyer, Laura and Brant, and Abby Klein. The role of Ali Watts was played by Aaron Nicole Lundquist. The role of Elijah Long was played by Griffin Puatu. The role of Jason Phoenix was played by Noah Bellachu. The role of Crispin was played by Ellis Knight. The role of Dr. Carolina Bailey was played by Isabella Tugman. The role of Queen Orilla was played by Raven Visceral. The role of Galen was played by Trenton Butt. 
The role of the security guard was played by Xander Grant. The role of the tour guide was played by Jonathan Cox. And additional voices were provided by Xander Grant, Gerald Hill, Ellis Knight, Joy Ofodu, Stephanie Tobin, and Isabella Tugman. The Technomancy Project is a proud member of the Faustian Nonsense Network. If you like this podcast and want to help us grow, please consider leaving us a review if you do listen on Apple Podcasts or a rating if you listen to us on Spotify. Both of those things really help us out in the long run, and we'd really appreciate that help. Also, if you want to help us magically reanimate our own long-lost lovers, please consider following us on all of our social media. Stay safe out there, Waterfalls. <laughs>